Christmas can be just a bit chaotic. And January is always packed. So in the few days in between, we like to reflect on the year gone by. 2019 began with a cold snap. We enjoyed plenty of fires and blankets, but Penny and Zero also insisted we enjoy the outdoors. There were so many days we might have hidden ourselves away. Thankfully, these two reminded us there should be no off-season for joyful play. Even if that meant enduring wild winds and frozen locks. And in the end, the craziest days made for some of the best ones. This winter was also the first one Lincoln was old enough to enjoy on his own. And by enjoy, I mean shovel. But he always had a place in the puppy pile to commiserate about my tyranny. Speaking of which, winter this year refused to release its grip on Chicago. A permafrost seemed to settle over the entire city. But as always, thanks to the dogs, we endured, buoyed by bounding paws and fiery play. Though we did have to contend with some serious existential questions. Most importantly, the question of where is zero? We will, we will. Where's zero? Where is he? Fortunately, Detective Lincoln solved the case. <laughs> he found zero! What we certainly did not solve this year was how to play fetch or catch. It certainly wasn't from a lack of trying, I can assure you. Time and time again, we shook off our failures only to try again and fail again. Thus, leading to plenty of walks of shame like this one. Let's just say, I'm not hopeful that 2020 is our year to get this right. But that's okay. We did learn a thing or two this year. For example, Zero learned there's no shame in waiting for Penny instead of trying to catch her. Similarly, by waiting for spring, the sun eventually did return. And all species agree, it made for glorious napping. And playing and more napping. With the beach finally thawed, we could get back in the water. It felt good to throw off our layers and play in the muck, even if it came at the cost of a few extra baths. Though, given how quickly our creatures dove back into the fray, it was often a wonder why we bothered to bathe them at all. 2019, was also a big year for couches. We replaced our old failing one with a much more substantial napping zone. Though, we soon realized just one couch in the apartment wasn't going to cut it. Another couch later, and we have peace for all. Though, sometimes a good floor nap in the sun simply can't be beat. We enjoyed a summer filled with adventure, traveling to beaches, both new and familiar. We jumped, scaled, and flew over or through whatever we came across. That said, the greatest adventure of the year was still to come. In preparation, the dogs were kind enough to teach Lincoln about the importance of sharing. Then, in October, with just a bit of cajoling, we welcomed a new baby girl to the family. Quinn was an instant hit with her big brother, and Zero, of course, who immediately resumed his nanny duties. The year finished with a packed couple months, filled with wild things and reindeer games. 
So much changed for us in 2019. Lincoln grew into a completely new boy. And Quinn is, well, quite literally, a completely new girl. But what remains unchanged is that our time was better for having shared it with our dogs. We approach the new year and new decade with confidence. Not because we know what's to come, but because we'll meet it together. Thanks for joining us along the way. Happy New Year.